You know, when a few months ago the Foxconn deal was announced, uh, we had many of you in here celebrated. Governor Walker stood next to President Trump at the White House to announce the deal. He got to sit in the big Oval Office chair while Trump held the chair, like a proud father, and announced that Wisconsin would become Wisconsin Valley. Numbers would be flying around, 13,000 jobs, maybe more. 22,000 indirect jobs, maybe more. We heard words like transformative and economic ecosystem. And he said the $3 billion deal, the largest public subsidy of a foreign corporation in U.S. history, would benefit the entire state. The governor promises the world to one of these corporations, tells the people of Wisconsin that this is the golden parachute. Now I get it. You're married to this deal now. You're all in. But at the very least, we can agree to inject some transparency into this deal. Now we have great economic news. And the only thing that they can talk about as some kind of a boogeyman is the fact that we have the largest economic development project in the country. The largest foreign investment in the history of our state. And if you live in the far left world of the people on this half of the chamber, that's a bad thing. How in the world can 13,000 jobs be a negative unless you are clearly out of touch with the reality of the average, everyday working Wisconsinite? Heaven forbid we bring $50,000 a year average jobs with benefits to Wisconsin fulfilling the pledge that Bernie Sanders made before he had the election and nomination stolen from him in their party primary. So I get how they want to distract and defer and talk about everything else but the reality of Wisconsin's comeback.